What's going on, Solid Steppers? What's up, Tech the Titans? This is Miss Ward coming to you as always. I'm on I 75, headed to, up to uh, Valdosta, Georgia, to take care of some clients. And I want to talk to y'all about something real quick, and that's going to be order and staying in sequence. So, prime example you may be working with a client, a customer, you get an email, you want to stop what you're doing, reach out to the next customer, get all the information. Don't do that. Have a system. So for instance, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull over here at this next exit. And when I pull over at this exit, I'm going to um, go ahead, send out, make sure my systems and processes are in place, make sure they're communicating with the customer so that I don't have to stop and do it. I have what they call automated systems set up. I just monitor those systems to make sure that my processes are in place. I already, my team already knows what days are available. They know how to move, what to move, and where to move. Our, in our business, refrigeration is a priority. It's our highest price ticket, but also it's our highest uh, priority customer. And that's just the name of the game. When you're in business, you got to figure out where your money at, and then you got to put systems in place to make sure you don't leave it, that you don't lose money in that process. What I mean by that, even though it may be a priority customer and a priority job, but the client and the way the client moves may not be priority, or it may be a situation where you're not, it's not a win-win for you and that person is not your client. What do I mean by that? Well, basically what I mean is, is if the customer is not in the right price point, if the appliance is not in the right price point, you may be spinning your wheels, you may just walk away with a diagnostic charge. Like us, we deal a lot with high end uh, and things of that nature. We deal in certain zip codes and with certain clients, but even calls from there have to be vetted. And when I tell you vet, you want to vet so that you're not wasting your time or the customer's time. This is real. You can always refer them to a friendly competitor who can take care of them quicker and you still come out looking like the good guy. And that's the name of the game. See, the problem is most people don't know how to play that game. You got to play the win, and how you play the win is understand the processes and make it work for you. Remember, it's your world, nobody else's. Y'all be blessed. Just a word, of wise, word to the wise. Have your systems in place. Have your systems in place and work those systems and be disciplined enough to maintain those systems. Ms. Ward signing off. Have a great day.